What is up everybody? Welcome for the first time or back to another DLJ Works video. And this video is going to be more niche as I don't think it's going to be for everybody because on this video I'm going to be talking about a free form builder that is on jQuery forms. Now, let me give you some backstory in terms of why I'm even doing this video. For my current work, I was in a pickle and I needed a conditional logic form builder. All right. At work, one of our websites one of the forms was actually built using conditional logic yet i know nothing about building creating a form from scratch using conditional logic i know nothing about php uh, mail is setup none of that stuff all right i even though i know quite a bit about html css some javascript some jquery to do some basic functions and some added features i do not do forms at all um, i'm not ashamed to admit that okay I could do some very basic forms where we talk about putting some HTML tags, writing some input buttons from scratch. But when you get into the nuances, not my cup of tea, though it may be something I may dive deep into in the future. So I'm not away from that. But our business websites, they're built on Weebly's platform. And if we look at Weebly's forms, I mean, they get the job done. They're, there's nothing wrong with them. You can add a lot of detail to them to say the least but when you're talking about getting into the complexities of a real form that actually has some sort of semblance of AI intelligence to it we believe it's just not gonna cut it there is no there's no opportunity here in their drag and drop builder to actually add conditional logic and if you want to actually do get into conditional logic I think there is an app that you actually have to put in a plug-in all right if I type in forms forms conditional logic all right there's a they have form builder and they have form which i think this is a supposedly according to some of the reviews i saw in the community your best bet if you're trying to get in conditional logic but you have to pay 4.99 a month and their free version is well you might as well not even do the free version at all like you can't even do the free version if you're trying to do conditional logic uh let me see here multiple email accounts storage file upload number form entries um somewhere in here you're supposed to be doing conditional logic but i mean it's, it's gonna cost you so here is what i have you have a one-time solution all right i built actually this quick order form that we have for our company using a website called jQueryForms.com. and the thing was because of my knowledge of jquery using jquery and javascript I knew what to search for online so I, I pretty much scoured the internet using certain key terms at first I was looking for conditional free conditional logic forms and then I would get things like job forms and some other pay-to-play websites and that just wasn't going to cut it at all this form right here that I built using jQuery forms is excellent so as you can see if I make a selection another drop down will get added same thing here if I select yes or no it does a drop down if I select no boom and I actually added these colors I customized them going into the source code on HTML on the back end using some CSS to add these colors for our customers so they could easily distinctively make the selections but this is going to be a very good form builder it's gonna be very detailed it's gonna have a lot of layers a lot of creativity that you can actually involve when using this form if especially if you have some prior knowledge of html and javascript i'm sorry html and css you can make you can actually customize the visual style of the form to your liking but let's go ahead and let's see what the actual website looks like so this is the website jquerryform.com now if you're looking to you can actually use this for free but i think there's going to be some limitations you can actually what you can do is you can actually license so here it tells you some of the free things that you can can you use it for commercial no can remove copyright link and notice no email part support priority is low host jquery bootstrap form yes can change html and css javascript and php code yes you can do all of that all right so if even if you have advanced knowledge you could probably stick with the free form of using this platform but what i decided to do was just go ahead and I think I donated like ten dollars because it's just that I probably should have donated more. But th this this form has helped me out a lot and allowed our customers, all right, to go ahead and place orders seamlessly without a hitch. It's it's, it's excellent. So let's go ahead and let's go into the back end. I'm actually logged into my account, and I'm just going to show you 
what doing using this form is like so i'm going to go ahead and let's just edit all right so they have a drag and drop builder here very kind of plain text look lookish but it, it gets the job done it doesn't need to be visually it doesn't need to be visually beautiful but there's a simplicity to you using it you can actually drag and drop whatever you actually need to for this tutorial i'm not going to drag and drop anything because i don't want to actually mess anything up in terms of what i already have in this form and everything's pretty much set for my customer base but here you can add whatever style of form that you want they have email a website field number field so all the fields here are programmed to be a specific type of field on the back end so that's already done for you but the one thing the main reason that we're here though and let's be honest is because of the conditional logic ability and if you don't know what conditional logic is it's more of a if then sort of setup when you're using this form so if I so make a selection if I make a drop down choice then it's going to populate some other form fields that's going to allow you to answer questions allow your customers or visitors to answer questions in a desired way that you need to so the way that we even get to the conditional logic i think it's under field okay no it's not here i don't think it's under styles no settings settings it's under settings so you get to the conditional logic by coming here to define form logic and then from down here i want to toggle show or hide fills f48 all right if and then this is where we get to our if then statements all right if of the following rules match if fifth if field eight is equal to and you can make us choice here a drop down choice is it equal to is it not equal to if it begins with if it ends with all right no and field eight is actually my field that i have titled do you have a previous po number okay so here i can get into the advancements of this but i'll probably just try to bore you in terms of actually explaining this so i'm gonna have to do a separate tutorial in terms of explaining this conditional logic but i just wanted to kind of show you if you're in a business and you need a, a form that's going to be very simple for your customers to use but also advanced to do and get to the nitty-gritty without having to create multiple form fields on entirely new form fields or whatnot this is going to be it you know I, I know that we've used woofoo forms before but that wasn't cutting it. and there was a limitation in terms of how many of the actual conditional logic fields that you can add this there is no limitation all right i have about i only got about i think like eight rules right now okay and then you can add you can actually layer each form field that you're adding a rule for and that will just take care of the, the, the drop down menu that you're actually selecting if that makes sense so if you're like to actually for me to do a separate tutorial demonstrating how to actually configure the conditional logic on this form field please let me know in the comment section and i'll do that because that's going to that's going to require a separate video all in itself but this video's purpose is to just expose the fact that this exists um you may want to go ahead and invest in a paid version because i promise you I promise you go ahead and make that donation because that's all the kid is asking whoever developed this and I, I mean it's, it's going to pay dividends in the long run especially if you're a business owner and you're trying to have a form field that's intuitive that's advanced but simple for your customers to use and if you would like like I said a tutorial explaining this whole back end stuff I'll go ahead and do that as well that's gonna be it for this video please comment as I said below we'll get into it Deshaun Johnson for DLJ Works. Talk to y'all soon. God bless y'all.